David with Ultimate Survival Tips coming to you live from SHOT Show in Las Vegas. This is the largest firearms and outdoor exposition in the world, so I'm really excited to be here. Over the next few days and weeks, we're going to be releasing a bunch of videos to the channel of some old classics and some fresh new gear. I'm glad you're here. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go in and get started. Hey guys, so I'm with Dustin. Dustin is the founder of Wazoo Wearable Survival Kits. Dustin, thanks man for being on with me. Thanks yeah, David. So go ahead, tell me a little bit about your company, uh, what you guys are about, and then let's take a look at some gear. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Wazoo Survival Gear, I think our design principle is really revolved around Murphy's Laws. If you don't have something with you, then what use is it, right? Yeah. So uh, you can have the best survival kit, the best EDC kit, but if it's at home and it's not with you, it's yeah. useless. Yeah. So what we wanted to do is incorporate it into your everyday life, whether that means that you're doing a nine to five in a, um, in a cubicle, uh, you don't want to look weird. You don't want to have something big, bulky. You don't want to have something that maybe ostracizes you. We want right. to make right. almost survival sexy. Right. Um, it's either covert or we want to put it in a uh, format that makes it really comfortable really small but at the same time as functional as possible yep. so we take those ideas and we incorporate it in different ways throughout your body wearable survival kits is what we're known for uh, something that we, we've become really famous for recently is the adventure bracelet um, it's really our comprehensive line of bracelet it, uh, it encompasses 18 different things or at least you have 18 different components you can incorporate into it we have 16 at the base level well I can go ahead and kind of give you a little bit of demonstration yeah, yeah, we wanted to take priorities of survival into consideration so there's some, there's some scenarios we'd like to put through our head to keep us balanced. And, and one of those is maybe you're kayaking. Maybe you're in just shorts, t-shirts off, and you have all your stuff in a backpack. You got everything you need for this camping trip this couple days. But what if you get dumped out of your kayak and you get left alone and you don't have your pack, you don't have anything you were that, that you brought with you except for what is on you. And literally you have nothing but maybe this adventure bracelet. Yep. So you're wet, you're soggy, you drag yourself out, night's coming, you're starting to get a little hypothermic. That means you got dexterity problems. That means you're cold, you need to do something quick to get that, that body temperature up. We wanna make things as easy as possible. We wanted to make it accessible too. Yep. So those things such as signaling or starting a fire or even first aid or navigation, those things are readily available on the bracelet. Nice. I just took this one off. We were just talking about fire, so if I had to start a fire immediately, what I would do is take off a tinder pack. We hide nice. these little tinder packs, we call them fat packs, first aid tinder. And the reason we call them first aid tinder is because they actually serve two purposes. They have a first aid component, they have a triple antibiotic, an analgesic, analgesic meaning it's a pain reliever. So if you had to, you cut that open, put it on a wound, and it also stave off a little bit of infection. You have two of those, um, so that's just as a backup. But it's also, if you had the first aid one, you could also use it for fire or vice versa. So say you wanted to start a fire, what I would do is I'd take that first aid tinder packet out. So I would go ahead and cut that tinder packet open. And then really it's already set up for you. What you should do is you strike that ferro serum rod with a ceramic blade that's on yeah, the other side. That's a ferro rod right here, the yeah. center pin. The center pin yes. right there. And, and in most, most of the time you'd never know it was there because it's incorporated in the buckle. Yep. So it takes a spot that otherwise wouldn't be used. And then on the other side you have your striker. So that in most cases, that's the, that's the two things that you use, a striker and a ferro rod for that, that flint and steel, right? So all you have to do is take that, that striker and scrape it against the ferro rod, and you got sparks. Nice. You got sparks, you put on the tinder, and you can extend the burn time of that, say it's raining even, and that tinder is not going to last for maybe 45 seconds to a minute. So what you can do is you can also put on a ranger band. That's what's holding this stuff on, which ranger bands have a lot of uses in themselves, yep. but we like to use it as a tinder extender. So you put that on, it's gonna, gonna raise the heat level a bit and extend your fire so you can start putting some, some kindling on there. Yep. Yeah, and, and that's what we're coming to is that we want worst case scenario. We don't wanna make it so that if you screw up once, it's over. Yep. We, want it, we wanna have redundancy. So it's a fire component. Now, if you look through the bracelet, there's a lot of other things incorporated. Obviously right now, big hit is paracord bracelets. We do have paracord incorporated into the bracelet. So you have paracord, which is useful. I know you've done a lot of videos on paracord. so. Can look that up and, and find out a lot of stuff for uses of that. We also have a signal mirror, which actually has a protective cover on it. So you know, after a lot of wear, your, your signal mirror surface is still protected. You just peel it off. Um, we also have a retroreflector. Retroreflector means that if some if a a uh, signaling crew is looking for you and they shine light in your direction, if you shine this back at them, they'd be able to see that. It'd be a big bright light that would shine back at them and notify them of your location. Nice. On the top side, another thing that's immediately accessible is going to be the compass. I use this almost every day. When I was looking at compasses is that 
I've had a lot of bad experiences with, with button compasses, and we really splurged on this one. It took us a long time to, to settle with this one, the highest grade possible. It costs a lot more in material costs for us, but it helps us sleep at night if we incorporate the best possible one in the world. A lot of things we were looking for just weren't on the market. Just what we were trying to do, we weren't okay with just accepting what was already there. So every little small component that we incorporated into it, we had to create ourselves, and we had to do it in an innovative way. So there's more stuff to it. Uh, the underneath the compass, or at least the compass also is glow in the dark, but on the bottom of the lid is also a glow in the dark tab as well. And so you can you can use that at nighttime if you if you left it open, and you can it'll also um, shine on the compass, and you could use use you could do it for maybe nighttime navigation. Uh, but also good for some nighttime signaling. You know, if you start waving that around, and uh, you can see that glow from a pretty good distance, and uh, you can always hide it too. We also have a tactical side to an extent where, worst case scenario, all your stuff is also hidden away. If if you're trying to be covert, you can be with this brace as well because nothing is going to really out you unless you want it to be. There's a whistle in the buckle as well. Okay. Um, obviously for auditory to... signal, right? And it works. I, I, I think I've tested it on several different applications, got over 100 decibels. Uh, thanks for pointing that out. Uh, the, on this version, we also put uh, surgical tubing incorporated into it. You can maybe see it better online. Yeah. It's the dark tubing right there. Okay. Yeah, and so that surgical tubing, plethora of uses. It's, it's hollow on the inside, so it's got that straw capability, sucking water out of a real hard reach place. And it's a band, it's a, it's a stretchy band. You can use that for a pole spear. You can use it for a reactionary device on slingshot? a trap. Slingshot, yeah. Slingshot. I had built a really capable slingshot with it too. And on the inside, we have a little micro kits. Pretty much most of the length is gonna be a kit uh, in this adventure bracelet. This has 30 foot, a 50 pound Dyneema fishing line. So nice. on the surface, yes, it's fishing line, but another, on the other side of that, you got 30 foot of line that you can use for lashing, putting stuff together, it's rated at 50 pounds incredibly strong, thin stuff. We also have some other little tools you could use, two safety pins, two hooks, and then uh, two uh, lead weights as well. So that's your fishing kit. And again, going back to the priorities, this is more of a long-term thing. So this is actually inside there, and that's always gonna be in there. And it's in a waterproof case, so you don't have to worry about things rusting or getting corroded. People ask us sometimes, you know, how do I put it back together? Well, if you're in a situation where you have to put it back together, if you're going in the woods and surviving, but then you gotta go back to your urban environment, don't rest assured, if you're in a survival situation, let us know. I'm sure we can work out a deal and get you a new one. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. So, I gotta tell you, I love the kit. Thanks. I love your passion, I love the innovation, you really own this. How old are you? 26. Okay, you guys that wanna be visionary entrepreneurs, talk to Dustin. Thanks. Anyway, man, thank you for being with me. Uh, really appreciate your time. Thanks, dude. All right, man. Your convenience have included links to all the gear that I've mentioned in the video description on YouTube. Just click the show more tab under this video. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And for more gear reviews, survival tips and survival news, check out ultimatesurvivaltips.com. While you're there, grab our monthly survival e-mag, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter to get the latest news and be the first to hear about the great gear giveaway contests we have planned. Okay, this is David. I hope to see you on the other side, and remember, be prepared, because you never know.